Thanks so much, everyone, and welcome back. It's always lovely, lovely to connect with you. I want to talk to you a little bit about why people hurt you so you can understand what's going on, move on, and just have an amazing life. But before that, yesterday, someone asked me, they said, you know, Sheila, what what is exactly that you do? Because it seems to be rich, robust, and you, you got your fingers in, in, in a lot of uh, pots here. What how, how do you define what you do? And I kind of chuckled uh, and took it as a compliment. I want to explain what I do for folks. Um, I am the individual in the world that takes you out of distress. I soothe, I comfort, I educate. Um, I save time and heartache and heartbreak for folks. And I do that professionally. I want you to understand that there's all forms of education. Uh, there is formal education. That's one form, uh, which I want you to understand I did prepare for you to do this work uh, many years at the University of Illinois and then went on for my clinical certifications and all that is great. However, uh, the, the paramount form of education, and I say this without pride or without prejudice, I really believe it from the bottom of my heart that the paramount form of education is life, education, heart, education, and living it. So everything that, that I've ever learned, it overlays these vast and varied degrees that have been earned um, in the school of life and the school of hard knocks. So I infuse all manner of information all manner of education and all manner of living in every single message that I give you. And I have to tell you, if it were available, I would stop. I would stop YouTube. I would stop lecturing. I would stop my speaking. I would stop because I don't believe in cookie cutter, carbon copy, repeating what people have. Folks, I look, um, it's not available. So I'm going to continue on uh, with this body of work. This is a body of work and everyone is in the best uh, capable, capable hands possible. Every year I stop And I do, I take a weekend away um, just to sit with myself and assess this work and what I'm doing and what I'm saying with people. That's a retreat, a personal retreat I take for myself. And I ask, you know, Sheila, if you were someone uh, either surfing YouTube, there was some distress, some questions you had, or you wanted to pick up a book, you wanted to sit and talk with someone, let's be honest girl, would you be comfortable? Would you be comfortable sitting and meeting with yourself and receiving the comfort, the words, the information, the wisdom? Seriously, would you be? And I will tell you, that's a heartfelt and serious, that's a serious question. And it, there is a resounding yes, a resounding yes. So I want you to understand that what I'm sharing with you, I take it um, as seriously as I take the work of, of raising my daughter, as seriously as I take the life work of cultivating my attitude and be walking in honor and dignity, as seriously as I take um, many of the issues that are going on in life. I mean, from the the abuse of children to what is happening in our, on our planet today, prolific rise of casual cruelty and disengagement. So um, I elevate you, I elevate you, uh, the listener, and I, as I elevate this platform, and I'm deeply honored that you tune in. And I, again, I take it very seriously. And thank you for trusting me. Okay, why, why do people hurt you? Why do people hurt you? So I want you to understand this so that you can go on today, have an awesome, awesome day an awesome life. I'm sitting in front of the duck pond near my house. I'm looking at this water. I'm looking at these ducks. It's taking my breath away. I can't even believe that I'm alive to see it. And 
believe you me, there are shenanigans going on in the backdrop. I'm not going to get into it now. I will, middle of next week, I'm going to uh, address some of these issues with you all because it's it's pertinent. If I let you in to the innards of something that's going on in life, it's because it's pertinent and I think someone can heal from it. So check me out about next Wednesday or Thursday. Tune in then, I'll let you know what's going on. Um, so people are up to their shenanigans, but I understand why people people hurt us or try to hurt us. And once I really sat with this and took it into my soul, I understood it intellectually first, and then I downloaded the information in my soul, and then the channels of the healing really rushed in. So I want you to understand two words. You can write them down if you want, if it'll help you. Um, toxic load. People hurt you because of toxic load. Now, generally, toxic load is referred to the toxins that are in our bodies from the foods we eat, from pesticides, from the air we breathe. Just bad things get in our body. So that's generally what's referred to when you talk about the toxic load. But people almost never talk about the spiritual toxic load, the toxicity of what I mean, there's many things that can hurt a person in their life, that can traumatize a person in their life, that can wound uh, a person in their life. And if those things are not dealt with, if they're not dealt with accordingly, what can build up is a toxic load. People, whether it's a child whether it is a teenager, an adult, man, woman, black, white, purple, green, blue, uh, people cannot sustain a, to- a toxic load, no less a heavy toxic load by themselves. They cannot, it can't be sustained. So when someone intentionally or unintentionally lashes out and hurts you, that is part of a toxic load that they're really inadvertently attempting to share. It's I can't I can't carry this disturbance within me. It's why when children who are hurt they fight, they lash out, they jump, you know, pull hair, push, kick. They're trying to release a toxic load. Some of the behaviors you will see uh in adults, um angry, uh passive aggressive, Uh, lack of sensitivity, um, suspicion, um, irritable. In general, there's a nastiness. Uh, There can be a nasty edge or you may find someone who's completely shut down. So that's another way of trying to deal with a toxic load. I can't deal with it. Let me turn it all off. So, you know, and, and I don't make light of it. You know, you'll hear me talking, well, Sheila, I can't just dismiss what they're doing and chalk it up to a toxic load. I'm not saying to dismiss it. I'm saying to understand it deeply so you can stay calm and you can get centered and you can decide what is the best and most effective way to deal with the situation. I'm dealing with a circumstance right now well, where there's some toxic load that's spilling over uh, from a variety of people. And I'm needing to just sit, remind myself of understanding what toxic load is so that I don't take on. See, catch where I'm coming from. When you're in hysterics and getting all upset, what you're doing is opening yourself wide up to receive the toxic load. And you're becoming a to- tox- toxic yourself rather than stepping back and you kind of step out of the picture and you just look at it critically. You look at it from the front, you look at it from the back, you look at it from the side. Okay, this is the best way. I know that these people or this person is dealing with some toxicity. It's spilling over into my life, uh, into the greater environment. How do I best want to contain that mentally and emotionally for myself and deal with it? So this is why it's so important to understand because without understanding what you do is step over into the toxic site. I'm trying to keep you out of the toxic site. 
You don't want to step into that energy. You want to stay cool. Um, you want to stay objective and just understand and say to self, I, I may not know um, the origin of that toxicity. I may not understand the full underbelly of that toxicity, but I do know that I don't want to step into it. And so what you do with those individuals is put them, surround them in the holy, magnified, glorified light of God, light of Christ. Um, Choose the best level-headed way, the healthiest way that you want to deal with it, and then you move on. But what you don't do is ruminate. You know, hurt people hurt people. It's just what they do. They can't carry their toxic load. I'm telling you that. That's why hurt people hurt people. It's It almost relieves them spiritually to hand off some of the toxicity. It's, it's a relief. Even if they feel regret after, I've sat with these people. People who've been brutally honest with me, they will tell you it's, it's something of a relief. I hit this woman and momentarily I felt great relief. I felt bad after or I cursed this person out. It relieved me. That was the toxic load releasing. But the thing about this kind of toxic load, you can release it, but it comes right back because it's not true release. It's not true healing. And often people who are suffering from heavy toxic load, they are wide open. The enemy, uh, dark influences, use them so easily as a puppet because they're already full of toxicity. So they can't even detect. They can't even detect when the manipulation comes in. They're riddled in darkness. So they can't even detect more dark influence manipulating them. So you see, whereas you may uh, sit down and want to hate Don't hate. Don't hate. You pray for them and you deal with it in as classy and dignified a way as possible. Put them in light of Christ and go have a snack. Okay, go have some some tacos, a fresh sandwich, some cookies. Matter of fact, you give me an idea. I wanted to make some cookies today. You see what I mean? And so we get off of that and we don't step into that toxic waste dump. Okay, so I wanted to give you a deeper understanding of why people hurt you. I hope it's made a difference. I'll catch up with you soon.